hello today we are going to discuss in this video about credit card payment system in module 6 of principles of information security so all of you must be knowing what is credit card payment system and how are you going to use it uh, so we will discuss it's one of the earliest form of e-payment and who are the actors in this payment system the main actor is customer customer is notified by letter C the, so the customer is the one who will uh, complete an online shopping and will be ready to give his credit card uh, payment so he will hand, enter a credit card number credit card number is notified by CCN and then uh, to whom he is paying to the merchant merchant is by letter M so merchant will verify the credit card number by contacting the issuing bank there will be for various credit cards there will be various banks issued by it so in order to coordinate all of them we use a payment gateway to deal with different banks it act as a proxy between different merchants and bank card network and all the communication is through the internet that is communication between customer and merchant in the merchant and payment gateway uh, to the bank card network everything when the merchants bank merchants bank is the acquire bank uh, so this is the one in which he creates an account when he starts a business so these are the things we are going to uh, study in this video so um, in the screen you can see a figure where you can see the communication between C and M between M and PG everything is through the internet and this is the overall view of a credit card payment uh, initially from the left you have a card holder and the card holder pays the after shopping card holder pays the merchant for a purchase with a credit card number the credit card details will be passed to the merchant and the second step merchant send the credit card details to the acquirer that is bank of merchant so the what the acquirer will do acquirer bank will forward the credit card details to the credit card network this is the network that deals with all the type of credit cards issued by different banks and credit card network in the fourth step it will request the payment authorization from the issuing bank it will directly connect to the issuing bank for which the credit card holds so this is the procedure of credit card payment system uh, so initial as an initial step what the customer do is it sends a two messages one is order information other one is pay payment information order information is represented as oi and payment information is represented as pi <coughs> so these informations are sent to merchant merchant the order information is for the purpose of merchant but payment information he cannot see the payment information it is for the bank so merchant will directly forward it to the acquirer bank then the payment gateway communicates customer information to the issuing bank it is the other the next communication is done by the payment gateway it communicates with the acquirer bank and communicates with the issuing bank and bank checks validity of the credit card number like its expiry etc and also checks whether balance is there in, his, in customer's credit then it authorizes payment then the payment gateway informs merchant to proceed with transaction and the merchant confirms to customer with a track number etc so that he can uh, the customer can know about the delivery time etc and here the fund transfer between the issuing bank and the acquiring bank is uh, done uh, and in different countries in different areas it's of different type like somewhere it will be done after the shipment and somewhere it will be done before the shipment it's according to the area so for this fund transfer it requires a secure channel and here we are using a so uh, secure socket layer that is SSL channel SSL channel is the one that provides the secure transfer between customer and merchant also it avoids eavesdropping in the way but there are some problems concerned with the credit card payment while using SSL alone because there are three concerns they are initially 
uh, when the customer gives the credit card details to the merchant he may not be sure that whether it is saved at the merchant's database or whether it is attacked by any attacker also when the ccn is uh, passed to the merchant merchant cannot make sure that is it is the genuine customer with the, the credit card details okay and the th third issue is when the uh, while the passage of these credit details customer cannot make sure that whether it is uh, is is dropped or attacked on the way by some fraud attacks so these are the three concerns when you are using credit card payment along with the ssl and so it requires another important effective protocol which is secure electronic transaction sct protocol so that we will discuss in our next video thank you